Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play now today with a game called Shadow Bug, which is made by a studio called Muro Studios and this key was given to me I believe by one of the developers on our Discord server so hi developer on our Discord server thanks for the key for the game and uh, well this is gonna be launched on Steam on the 21st of July it's not the 21st yet, according to Steam and the fact that it's not 21st yet. It's, well, this is what you would normally see probably more on mobile phones, but it's... It kind of works. It's a sort of quick reaction style game where you kind of have to click on things fast enough. It, basically... Imagine the combat system of Arkham Knight or Arkham style, or your Arkham game. The game. That, that's basically what it is. So you have this creature, this shadow bug, this thing armed with two swords, and with your mouse you move this little tiny little well firefly, I'm guessing. You can't physically jump, you can't directly jump. You don't have a, a jump key that lets you actually move uh, as you want to. You only have A and D, so you can only move uh, from side to side, but if you click on an enemy, you do this and this. And your objective is to chain all these attacks at the exact right time. See, that's not what's supposed to happen. I'm maybe start this level just to show you what was supposed to happen. So what was supposed to happen was this, see, that, that, now I wait a bit, and now I do this, and okay. I should have waited a bit more, actually. Well, I can just do this, you know. I got most of them, that, that's what's important. It's a game where you jump from place to place, you unlock levers, enemies do respawn by the way and this thing happens. And you have to use the enemies to traverse the level as you- oh, that's not what was supposed to happen. Also I think someone got run over by a car outside my window, sorry about that. People tend to get run over around here quite often it seems because drivers are horrible. Why they're allowed to drive, I don't know. You can't go through walls, there's something you have to keep in mind, you can't go through walls if you have an enemy on the other side, so it, it, traveling between places is... It's a, oh, yeah. While you can grow, go through walls, you cannot go through spikes, so you have to be careful about that, because if you hit a spike, you're dead. You have to restart at the last checkpoint, which usually isn't really all that... Okay, I did it again. Which usually isn't all that far away. I like the aesthetic, I mean the, the backgrounds at least, but the foreground sometimes tends to blend a bit too much into the background, like the spikes here, see? These things are red and red to brown and the background is also kind of the same way. It's a bit distracting, I gotta say, I mean it doesn't really... <sighs> you should have made them a different color. What could you make? Well, red is the universal sign of danger, so what other color could they have made it? I don't know, purple maybe? I have no idea. And that was the Rose Garden level. It's not just uh, this kind of progression. You also have bosses in this game, and if I won't be able... Ooh, mad birds. If I won't be able to get to a boss soon, I'm uh, actually going to go back to the previous boss and show you the, how the battle was. Though this does look a bit uh, interesting. I believe that the things that are... Yeah, I can't actually grab onto those, so I have to be careful where I go. Okay, got there. And voila, voila. See, that's how you do it, that's how you play it. And we did that. Should probably actually find a way to jump on the other side to collect these things. At the end of the level you saw that you get a score, depending on if you finish the level, on your progression, on your time, your completion time. And on your dammit. And on your completion percentage. Okay, that was a bad move on my part. I've actually gotten up there from the start, huh? I neglected that. And yeah, we got up there. We got up there again. You guys should probably just circumvent part of the level by just grabbing on things that are just off screen, which uh, may usually help. You also get a score, a completion score, depending on how many of those uh, little things you picked up. Okay, we use that and he wants to get down there. Now let's use it again to get on the other side. Let's jump down here. We're going to have to turn this on to lower the platform. Now this is going to be Super Meat Boy type of hairy situations, but well, not as intense. 
Let's jump here. One more thing that's gonna kill us. Okay, we jump on the other side. Up here, down here. Oh yeah, damn it. I jumped right in front of that thing, yeah. Right in front of the um, the plant that was spewing poison at us. Or doom. Possibly doom. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is gonna be a bit more hairy because I, I have to find a way to move. If I move in a direct line, I'm gonna hit this. But I'm gonna have to come down a bit lower, so I'm gonna do... The, uh, no, that did not work. That did not work. You need to be a bit faster. I'm probably not gonna get any sort of points for completion time on this level. That's kind of a disappointment. But uh, at least I'm gonna... No, I clicked too early. Click too early. I'm gonna do some... Wait a second. I'm gonna disable the, the filter because it gets annoying really, really fast. I think the game is a little more a little more visible now without that filter. That Instagram filter. Why, why would you put that in a game in the first place? I don't know. I mean, these things don't look purple anymore. They look blue. Okay. I'm gonna have to be a bit... Oh, oh god damn it. It swallowed me. I got too close and it swallowed me before I managed to attack. As you can imagine, this is not how you play the game. The game is usually played by just clicking on things so fast that you kill everything before they get a chance, goddammit. Before they get a chance to actually do anything and you don't even touch the floor. That's how you usually play this game. But that's not how I'm playing this level because uh, it, this, this a little bit... Maybe I'm overanalyzing this. Can I just... No, I cannot just... I cannot just and I should try not to, to, to just do that. On the other hand, I have a different idea. As I've said, this game lets you... It lets... Come on, where is it? It doesn't, doesn't respawn. I, if the bird respawned up there, or the bug, or whatever what, what it was, I could have probably gone back and uh, clicked on the thing from up here. That would have probably worked. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a way to just jump. Okay, it worked and... Yeah, and this is the end of the level. Okay, probably no time bonus. No, we finish in... I finish in 30 minutes, uh, 3 minutes, instead of under 1. But I did get a record for a number of stuff, of things found, which was about 6 times, well, 7 times more than I had to. Blade Maze. That sounds promising. The, we already got a taste of it at the beginning. Oh, the, you know, the last level. Words are meaningless at this point, so why bother? Okay, there's that big glowing thing. I wonder how I can get there. I have no idea currently. Let's go through here. Get this thing. There's a... Uh, oh, yeah. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, do not get... Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Almost got hit by that thing, and it missed me. Okay, get me up there. Get me higher. Get me higher. Good, good boy. I need to move between these things, and that's the level. That this was not a blade maze. You had two blades. There were more blades in the last one, and this was a record. There were more blades in the last level. That was kind of disappointing. Lumberbug. There's about 36 levels or something like that. From what I've heard. See this? This looks more like a blade maze than the last one. Okay, that just eviscerated me. Well, I suited for it to go up. And... Bam. Okay, that's moving. Will it move back? Okay, it does move back. It does move back. And I misjudged the distance. I like the little animation. It... It goes on its tippy toes when it's about to fall from a ledge. You can see? See? That, that's cute. Okay. Let it come. Run after it and jump. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I made it this time. This time I made it. I'm up here. I'm gonna have to descend now. 
using these things as uh, collateral. Well, as a jumping off point, not collateral, that's something else. And it stopped, good. No, it didn't stop, it's actually still going. But the other one is still... Oh, it's so close. I actually just click on the other thing. I, I keep forgetting that this isn't a normal game. This isn't about going from point A to point B. It's about clicking on point B to go to point C after already jumped off point A. It's it's a different kind of affair. So let's jump up here and hopefully run away in time. Wow, they will not that no, that 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 is not that is not the right way to play. That is not the right way to play. Okay, wait for it to go down, wait for it to go up again, and click on the thing. I clicked on the thing too late. Click too late. Uh, I clicked too late, click, no, come back, come back. So that plant doesn't respawn in time for me to get another chance. I almost had it last time, ah, damn it. I almost had it last time. Let's see. Okay. Wait for it to come down. Go now, go, go. Ah, damn it. Too slow, too slow. Should I actually just go for it the second it appears? Because there is a certain time involved. See now, and. Voila! And I got the big one too. Okay. Bad time, but I probably got a good score on, yeah, a lot of those points. I don't know what I do, but it's just giving me a high score. I don't know if it's required to progress from one level to another. It's probably not, it's just a, a score thing. Forest killer. This game probably has an ecological message to it, though I'm a bit oblivious to it. Probably the soul spinning blades thing cutting down trees. Let's see, Could probably jump on the thing there. Yes, I jumped on the thing there, and on the plant, and on the other one, and on this one. And there's, the, oh yeah, there's one other plant. Oh, that wasn't a plant. Probably ate a plant. Voila, this is how you do it. And I should wait for them to respawn, hopefully. Yes, they do respawn, which is a good thing. Now the time, okay, that actually went uh, well enough. Didn't get all the, the things, but I got enough of them. It can get boring after a while. Like I said, this is something you probably, okay, the boss is next. This is something you probably get uh, more enjoyment out of on a mobile, because you have no other options on a mobile. On a PC, uh, again. If you're a fan of the Dance Dance Revolution style of Arkham Combat, this may be good training for you. It, it really isn't all that super, but I will get to the boss fight. Ah, damn it. I will get to something that's good, like, in a moment. The, the boss fights, they, they're actually okay. Uh, at least the last, the, the first one I, I, I played was kind of okay. It was enjoyable. Okay, let's see how we can get through this without getting hit in the head by one of those balls. Oh no, I fell on one. On occasion you'll find creatures that are hidden somewhere obscured in the uh, the background. You can click on them to uh, unlock new areas. And I'm stuck here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm stuck here. I went the wrong way. Okay, get this, get that. What if I can jump over the... Can I jump over... No, I cannot. Come on, come on, come on, let me down. Open this. Kill this. Should probably kill the other thing on top too. Nothing there. Okay, we are here. And we have to get somewhere else like this. Nope. Oh, the thing moved, and it respawned me back here. I'm not gonna get the boss today, am I? I hope I do get the boss today. One more plant that... I mean, the game is sending a bit of a mixed message. I mean, I'm killing plants, I'm killing animals, but... Um, 
I guess th the environment being hurt is also bad. So it's it's maybe there are evil plants and evil animals that are helping the uh, whoever is doing bad things to the environment. Not sure. Okay, so I have to wait for this to go down and aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this should do. See again, this is more of a blade maze than the last part of the level. I hope it doesn't respawn me back there up. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't. It's okay, it's okay. It's got not completely annoying checkpoints, unlike many other games of this type. Yes. Okay, we actually fit inside there. And we still fit. And then we're dropping down and... Ah, oh, I missed the last one. The last bit. And, and I did not get the, um, the completion for uh, collecting bits. And this is the boss level. Now, the previous boss level I actually enjoyed. It flowed well. It was interesting. And this one looks nice too, so far. Okay, let's... And the last one I had to jump around on enemies because if I stood still the uh, the the thing would hit me. I'm guessing I have to do the same thing, but this is a different kind of affair. The last the boss fight was with a uh, giant uh, drilling machine. This one is with well, a cutter. But I'm oh damn it no. I don't actually currently see its weak point that I have to hit. I'm gonna have to find it and exploit it. Okay, let's find the weak point and exploit it. Maybe the... Um, oh, damn it, I got eaten by a moth. Maybe these radioactive things have something to do with the weakness. Maybe I have to get it to hit them, but I don't know how. Aha! Uh -huh, okay, I think I, I think I get it. I think I get it. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's try this. Yes, that's how it that's how it works. I got it. Okay, it, it's it's gone a bit gone a bit sideways now. It's a bit angry at me. It's a little bit angry with me. Oh it's it's regenerated out, damn it. I finished the first boss fight without any restarts, but at least now I know uh, what I'm in for. What I like about the boss fights is that you have to get them to do something three times and that that's basically the, the standard for boss fights in video games. You have to get a boss to do something three times or do something to a boss three times. Anymore and you're kind of you're kind of just repeating content and not really making a, a compelling fight for me. You're just repeating it. Ah, damn it. I keep forgetting I don't have an actual control when I'm in, in the mid air. I have to rely on enemies to bounce around. Jump here, jump down. Voila. Now I'm gonna have to dodge this thing for a while until the other one pops up. Where's the other one? Come on. Okay, here it is. Jump down. Come get it. And it got it. It got it and it's probably not pleased that it got it. Okay, I'm almost starting to miss my cues. Like I can't properly see exactly which one am I. Ah, damn it. The trail that the character leaves behind it can be a bit annoying at times. It makes things a bit confusing when you're moving quickly. Let's see if I can actually do... No, I can't. I'm gonna do this one first. The last one first. And move out of the way. And try my best to... Ah, damn it. Forgot. Okay, let's try one last time. If not, I'm just gonna quit. Jump, jump. No. Uh, I'm gonna try and make it hit the first one first. 
Maybe this will work out better. No, wait a minute. They didn't hit me. That thing didn't hit me. I think the physics maybe physics maybe physics maybe a bit wonky too. Let's get it to come here. And now go back. I'm going to hit something else on the side and then come here. Come on. Follow me. Okay, you're going to go hit that thing over there. I'm going to lead you back to the top. And you're going to hit this thing. And you're go, going to go bananas. So the last boss fight was a bit more direct. I had to actually hit the enemy when he was exposed. And then just dodge him with uh, the same kind of flying stuff, flying things around. It's a bit of a puzzle to actually click on the right one so we can get where we want to, not die. The game is permissive, I mean I wasn't exactly on the mark there, but it still let me go through with it. Let's go here, 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 here. Here, come on, regenerate, regrow your thing, you know you want it. Okay, but I'm a bit too, too farther away, too far away. Yes, that should do it, yeah, and that, that did it. The enemy is dead and I hope that's the right way. Yes, that is indeed the right way to go. Well, this has been the play now of Shadow Bug. As um, oh yeah, by the way, we were gonna have, we're probably gonna have about 50 keys of this game to give away next uh, next month, so be on the lookout for that. It's uh, well, it's a game that will probably be more at home on mobile. It's got a limited shelf life on PC, but hey, if the price is okay, maybe I don't know it. It it's not really my style. Yeah, I can get it. I get it. It can be exhilarating. Can be nice to play it. It looks okay. It looks good once you remove the the filter off it. But um, it's a way of controlling a game that I really don't like. You don't have direct control over your character. You just click and then watch an animation do its job and get there. So it's basically like Arkham style combat, which sort of is in every game and is fundamentally horrible. It depends on your um, resilience to horrible combat, I'm guessing. But there is some exploration to it, there are some... I guess one of the selling points would be to find a way to get the fastest times possible, the highest completion rates possible, maybe, who knows. Again, this game is going to be available on Steam on the uh, 21st of July. I don't know the price. And I'll see you next time uh, with uh, another play now. We're going to have a, actually a different game on this play now, but uh, it didn't work. Uh, who knows? So maybe uh, we'll, we'll see if we can do that game next time. I'll see you then. Goodbye.